Most of you may be familiar with your phone's refresh rate specs. We're seeing many companies advertise devices with a refresh rate of 90 hertz, 120 hertz, and sometimes even as much as 240 hertz. But another important display spec that you may want to know more about is your phone's touch sampling rate. Now, a phone's refresh rate is another way of telling you how many frames per second the phone is capable of handling. For example, the Pixel 6 advertises a 90 hertz display, and we're able to see this by enabling a feature in the developer options that tells us this information. I've done a video on how to do this on all Android devices, so I'll link to it in the video description below for anyone who, who wants to learn more about this and their phone. But the device's touch sampling rate, sometimes referred to as a response rate, is the frequency at which your phone's display reads your actual touch inputs. So the higher the touch sampling rate your phone is capable of, the more sensitive it is and the faster it can detect and register your touch inputs. Now, many older devices see this number get pegged right around 120, as that is the average number for devices with a display that has a cap of 60 hertz. But as I mentioned, more devices are shipping with faster displays these days, and there are even some gaming phones out there that are advertising a crazy high touch sampling rate in an attempt to improve the user's performance in games. Which makes sense, because the faster your display can detect your touch inputs, the faster you'll respond or shoot in a mobile game. So in the video description below, I'm gonna be linking to a free application that you can download and install. All you need to do is download the APK file and sideload it like normal. This application used to be in the Google Play Store but has since been removed. And that makes sense because Google is removing a lot of these older applications that have not been updated in a while. And when we open up the application, one of the informations that it's going to display to you is how many touch inputs we have and how many it can detect. However, right underneath it, the touch samples per second, that is your touch sampling rate. And you can see that this number generally changes, but often gets pegged at the highest number that it is capable of. In this case, it's around 250 or 260. However, when we do this on my Poco F2 Pro, you can see it is a little bit lower at about 230. Sadly, many of the low-end and mid-range smartphones and tablets end up cutting corners when it comes to this type of hardware. And it's not something that OEMs will advertise with, their, with all of their phones. Most will only mention this in ads and on product pages if the numbers are impressive, or again, if it is a marketing point for, let's say for example, a gaming mobile phone. So today I just wanted to share this free application to you so that you can test it out, learn more about the hardware used in your phone. And it may be why you've noticed that scrolling or swiping in certain apps is a little bit slower on certain devices you own than compared to others. There is an ADB command that we can do to get this information as well. I'll likely do a video of that in the future. However, not everyone has a spare PC and not everyone is a fan of the command line. So generally my go-to recommendations are applications 
even if it is a simple task such as just a one line command. So go ahead and try out this application and use the comments down below to let me know what phone you're using and what your touch sampling rate is.